But it's really more for me what he does in the back in terms of organizing. I mean, I think Michael Boxel is a pretty good defender back there. So when it's those two. Uh, that explains a lot about why they had so much success last year. And Pico off on the left side. If he just sees that and releases it a little bit quicker. Acosta this time will try to go to his left. Pico keeps it in. And they have some numbers going forward. Running at Matinier to his right. The effort, and it's in the net! Fafa Pico, the first goal for the restart. FC Dallas is off the mark, and so is Fafa Pico. His first goal for FC Dallas. It's 1-0 in the 11th minute. Back, and Matinier always seems second best. Kind of let him go as he released, was ready to release the shot. Alonso couldn't get there in time. Once Pico pushes that ball right, Metanier just couldn't get turned around to try to prevent the shot. They're going to go right after him again. Pico cuts back to his left this time. Curls it in towards the Cobra. Now Pepe brings it down, but he'll have to settle it. Couldn't take the first time effort. Ferreira in the box to his right foot. It's two! Jesus Ferreira has doubled the lead in only three minutes time. And FC Dallas smells blood in the water. It's 2-0 his teammate and then really nice footwork we just talked about it a second ago now Ferreira was operating at that pocket a little further out that time one extra touch has to Ferreira so I think that little incident a minute ago has gotten in his head a little bit here's Gregu stepping forward heals it to dots it left footed effort into the top corner of the net for the second trip in a row to Toyota Stadium Hassani Dotson scores a spectacular finish and just like a year ago, he cuts into the FC Dallas lead. It's 2-1 as Minnesota on the board in the 55th minute. Out of fire, and you, you, sometimes it's not tactical. You have to just match that energy and fire. And Hassani Dotson scored a goal, a really good goal last year from not far beyond that range right there. This time he's allowed to pick his head up in a dangerous spot. Look at this, he's got too much space there. Tiago Santos just couldn't get over there quickly enough. Mason Toy. Plays out of his feet. Grey Gooch, touch back to Alonzo. Edwards now, overlapping run for Metanier. Goes to his left foot, to the post, so it's off the woodwork. He had Jimmy Mauer beat. What I can tell you is that I'm seeing Minnesota players sprinting into spaces where I'm still seeing a couple of FC Dallas players. And their fresher bodies are their front men. Long ball up the left side. Frank O'Hara should be onside to the halfway line. Running at AHA. Frank O'Hara cuts back to his left, has some space in one-on-one, -on -one. left-footed effort, and a save by Ranjit Singh. Barrios on the right. Could FC Dallas seal it here? Deep into stoppage time. Barrios to the end line, taken down, and it's a penalty. Musa knocks down Michael Barrios, and FC Dallas will have a chance at the spot to put the insurance dagger into the hearts of the room. What they wanted from Michael Barrios come in in the second half, be a problem, use your speed, there's no, it's not even close, is it? You have to almost admire the audacity of uh, sort of pushed down by the captain who will take this one. Reto Ziegler. It's three. The captain buries it low into the bottom right corner. And FC Dallas is moments away from securing the three points they desperately need. It's 3-1. This one for FC Dallas. Never doubt on that one, was it? Remember, and then what did he tell you at the next training session when we could go to training right after that? He just said emphatically, I'll make the next one if you watch. And there it is, the final whistle of tonight's game. Joseph Dickerson brings this one to a close. FC Dallas ends their scoring drought in emphatic fashion, putting three.